With gas prices on the rise, are you considering signing up for Pay With Gas Buddy and are wondering how the service works? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking an updated look at the card, including my most recent experience. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel, we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and tool reviews like this one. At the time that I'm recording this video in March 2022, gasoline prices have been surging in the US. Because of this, I figured it was time to revisit Pay With Gas Buddy and see how it's changed in the now several years since I reviewed it. So what does Pay With Gas Buddy have to offer these days? Let's take a look at a few things to know about the free service. First, let's take a look at the basic mechanics of how the Pay With Gas Buddy card works and what the benefits are. If you're not familiar with Gas Buddy, it's an app that utilizes crowdsourced data to help you find nearby gas stations and prices. As an extension of that, the company introduced their Pay With Gas Buddy service, which users can sign up for in the app or online. When you do join, you'll need to link a checking account. Then, when you use your Pay With Gas Buddy card at the pump, your purchases will automatically be deducted from your checking account, but with the discounts applied. You can view current prices with discounts included, as well as which stations don't accept Pay With Gas Buddy by going to the Find Gas tab in the app. While Pay With Gas Buddy is akin to a debit card, you'll notice that there's no Visa or MasterCard logo on it, as it's only good at participating stations and only for gas. When you find a participating station, you'll insert your card and enter your driver ID code, which is basically a PIN you've set. Although the adjusted prices won't show up on the pump or even on your physical receipt, you can check the transaction in the app to view your savings. By default, you'll save at least $0.02 cents per gallon when using your Pay With Gas Buddy card at participating locations. However, you can view the current discounts in the app along with what they call deal alerts. With deal alerts, you can save up to $0.25 cents per gallon as a free user. Note that you will need to activate these deal alert offers in order to take advantage. By the way, you can technically participate in deal alerts just by submitting an eligible receipt, but this will be paid out as gas back, which you'll need a Pay With Gas Buddy card to redeem. Speaking of deal alerts, I recently had the chance to try this feature out and successfully found a solid offer. Earlier this week, I decided to give deal alerts a try and saw that a nearby Casey's had an offer for 25 cents off per gallon. So I activated the offer and headed right over. Sure enough, while my receipt shows a total of $8.54 for my 2.2 gallons, my Pay With Gas Buddy receipt and linked bank account show I only paid $7.98 total. As noted in the app, this includes the regular $0.03 cents off offer from the station, as well as the $0.22 cent per gallon boost as part of the deal alert. Although not every deal alert is as high as this one, it's encouraging to see that such top tier offers really do exist. Another aspect of Pay With Gas Buddy that I admittedly still haven't tried out for myself are their gas back offers. Under the savings tab in the app, you'll find a number of gas back offers. These are somewhat similar to a Rakuten or other shopping portals, allowing users to earn a percentage of their purchase or flat cash back amount when they use a special link to complete their transaction. In this case though, your earnings will be applied to your balance and can be redeemed for future gas purchases made using your Pay With Gas Buddy card. Overall, this could be a good idea if you're looking for a practical use for your online shopping rebates, but I'd personally advise users to compare deals between Gas Buddy and other available options. Finally, while I only have experience with the free version of Pay With Gas Buddy, there's also a premium version available for a monthly or annual fee. For those seeking more from Pay With Gas Buddy, there's also a premium paid version of the service that currently costs $9.99 a month or $99 a year up front. With premium, users save a base of $0.20 cents per gallon on up to 50 gallons per month, with premium deal alerts going as high as $0.40 cents per gallon. Premium also includes roadside assistance provided by Allstate on up to three events per year, among other benefits, making this a potential option for those who drive and fill up frequently. Overall, my recent return to pay with Gas Buddy did prove to be fruitful, although I also saw where there could be a discrepancy. Additionally, as many have pointed out, there may be additional considerations to make if the station you're going to charges an extra fee for cards. Prior to finding my $0.25 cent per gallon deal at Casey's, I had activated a $0.12 cent deal at another station. However, when I refreshed the app, I saw that the deal had fallen to $0.06 cents instead. Honestly, I'm not sure which price Gas Buddy would have honored since I'd already activated the deal, but I'd recommend checking for deals as soon before arriving at the station as possible to avoid disappointment, while driving safely of course. Elsewhere, one comment I've seen a lot is that the benefits of Pay With Gas Buddy are rendered moot since some stations charge a fee to pay with a card versus cash. While that's likely true for many stations, I have to say that such fees are definitely not common in my area or on road trips I take. 
So while it may make sense to pay cash at these types of stations in your area, perhaps the free Pay With Gas Buddy card will make sense for your travels. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what Pay With Gas Buddy is all about in 2022, but for more on the topic, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.